What is up you guys, it's your boy Rootless Dillas, and today we are going to be talking about three reasons that water can kill you. Now everybody knows what water is, right? That thing you drink when you're thirsty, or if you're a coke fanatic, you drink coke. Well today I will be talking about three reasons water can kill you. Now keep in mind I'm going to be talking about supernatural reasons for fun. None of these could ever happen to you and if they do well let me know. I also want to clear up that I didn't take these from any movies. Although I might have seen one or two of these somewhere I'm not sure but I just wanted to clear that up. So let's get into it. Water. One of the many vital elements that plays a vital role in our lives. But have you ever thought how ironic it is that this element that is supposed to bring life could someday bring death? Here are my three reasons why water can kill you. Number one, water can drown you. Water, like I said in the first point just now, can drown you. And I don't mean that water is going to drown you in a lake and pull you in. That's just scratching the surface. Imagine you are walking down the street and walk on top of a watermark. And I don't mean that thing on the edge of your videos. I'm talking about someone dropping water on the road and you walk on it. What would you be able to do if that water came up and turned itself into a bubble whose H2O particles were so strong they trapped you inside it without being able to get out? What would you do then? The most appropriate answer is that you would probably drown there and die. Number 2. Water is stealthy. When I say stealthy, I don't mean water is the next James Bond, but it's not dumb either. The water from the sky has evaporated, so you can't even see it. Now imagine again what would happen if the water that was evaporated suddenly collected itself and came and got on you and turned into ice. You wouldn't be able to get out of that and would probably die of starvation or hypothermia after just laying there for a while. But that doesn't stop water there. My third and final point is that water is everywhere. It's everywhere. In the air, on the land, and in the sea. There is no getting away from water. Water can get you from any angle. It's even inside of you. I would also like to add this even though it doesn't fit the supernatural guideline, but water is the cause of many natural disasters, such as tsunamis and hurricanes like the ones that went on this past year like Irma, Harvey, and Maria. My conclusion is, what I advise you is to stay away from water at all cost. If you want to save your life, you will not mess with this deadly liquid. It is best left alone and not meant to be reckoned with. I hope you guys appreciated this video. Uh, I really wanted to do it for fun. It was scripted too, so it was one of my first scripted videos other than songs, which obviously have to be scripted. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like it. It's my first one in a while. So yeah, later guys.